Hello everyone, a, ver a very good morning. So uh, today's topic, uh, I'll be talking about preoperative management for pediatric anesthesia. So if you've seen the, uh, in the past, most of the talks would say it's preoperative assessment, but I've reworded this topic as preoperative management because it's just not only assessment, we also uh, give instructions to optimize the child before we take up the child for surgery. So uh, I'm sure all of you know that it's, it's a very important aspect of anesthesia because uh, why do we need to see a, a child before anesthesia? Obviously some reasons are quite uh, obvious. You need to know about the surgery they're coming for, the medical condition of the child and if they have any other medical issues uh, you have to deal with and optimize them accordingly. But more importantly, after dealing with the medical issues of the child, it's very important that we establish a, a rapport or a friendship with the child. So ideally, I would recommend that the same person who sees the patient is also in theater uh, with the child for the surgery. So uh, that is called continuation of care. So continuation of care is very important. And uh, it is basically a journey they, they have from the time they come into the hospital till they get discharged. Surgery is quite a stressful uh, event for a child and for the parent. So I think uh, we'll have to make it as pleasant and as comfortable as possible for the child and for the parent. So apart from establishing a rapport and uh, minimizing, the, minimizing the anxiety levels of the, pa of the parent and the child, uh, the other things we need to do is plan for a pre-medication design uh, the anesthetic plan and finally give uh, instructions about the nil per oral and you consent the child. So some basic points when you do a preoperative assessment. Take time, don't rush through the assessment because you need to spend the, the time with the child and create a rapport as I said earlier. And uh, given a choice, try and do it at least a day prior. Don't see them five minutes before you take the child inside the war. So it's not a good thing because sometimes you might detect problems uh, quite late and uh, you might have to cancel a child. And uh, no parent is happy for a child to have a surgery cancelled after all the plan they've gone through. So they would have taken time off from their work. They could have had another uh, person take care of the one more child they have at home. Uh, they could have prepared the child well and so on. At the last minute, if you see it... <laughs>